Anyway, let's gather around the table and talk about this for a second. Harder to start, I think, than to finish it up. Um, 
Did anyone think they had a really good attention getter? Something like what they use? But no, Jen is not. No. Shaking your hand. I just <laughs> started with, because it's because I'm like, I'm the type of person that likes to have everything ordered for me, right? But I just, like, all these words started coming out of my head. So when I started to read it, like, I, I forgot. <laughs> So, oh, Mario, yeah, you read it, so why did you sort of point to her? No, no, I was like, oh, I forgot. No, oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you forgot. Because yeah. hers is yeah. totally different than mine. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Um, it's okay. Good, all right. So we're moving into the next essay. So this should be a fun and easy one, hopefully. Uh, some people do find this harder uh, because it's really changing the way you're um, you're writing, it's changing the way that we've been going. We've been going in these like personal directions. We've been going in these directions towards other people. And now we're going in this direction of sort of telling the world something that you believe in. Um, so it's not an argumentative paper, but it sort of is. Because you're arguing whether something is good or not. Um, a review essay really drives home these judgments or these uh, criteria in which you judge uh, what you're writing about. So, and this is sort of, this paper will draw a lot of different ideas. Like, there won't be four people writing about their family, for instance, in this one. Uh, you might take the easy route and pick something in media. So, like, an album, uh, a movie, that sort of thing. But this is sort of your your opportunity to sort of branch out from that and choose something a little less uh, expected, I guess. Um, if you really want to talk about a movie or an album you just listen to, that sort of stuff, it's really great. But this is your opportunity to try something new as well. Uh, like I was saying uh, before we left on Thursday, like this is your opportunity opportunity to try like a restaurant you've never been to. A kind like I had someone one semester right about trying sushi for the first time. Has anyone not had sushi before? Yeah, I just yeah. put it down. Okay, so. I, but you tried it. I tried, like, I ordered it, and then I was looking at it, and I kind of, like, sick of looking at it. So like, just looking at it? And my boyfriend, yeah, my boyfriend was, like, eating it, like, but it was, like, I was like, ew. I was like, no. But you never tried it. No, but I had it in my, like, I ordered it, yeah. and I looked at it, I was like, no, stop that bitch. <laughs> Yeah, I can see that. Um, I'm scared because then people could tell you that if you don't eat it correctly, you're gonna get. I don't know. And I'm like, how the hell do you eat it correctly? Like, what are you talking about? Because it's like this little green thing, and then the person may be like, I don't know what it is, but and, it, and then I touched, like, I tasted it. And I was like, nope. Well, it, was it like a goop? Or it's like it, it looks rat? like poop. Like, oh yeah, that's wasabi. That's wasabi. Wasabi. That's wasabi. 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 That's spicy. Nasty. Like super spicy. Yeah. So wasabi is very spicy. Uh, how many people like sushi in here? Why do you like sushi? Anyone? Um, it's got a nice uh, feeling to it. It just like feels good, the texture. You like the texture? <coughs> why do you like it? I like it because I just really like seafood. Like, ever since I was little, I always wanted to speak Spanish and then type of seafood. Yeah. Um, I went back to Red Lobster. What? I haven't gone to Is that some place you want to go? Yeah. <laughs> Why? Because I see the commercials and I'm like, this. <laughs> it's so overpriced. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like, it's like really expensive. Overpriced. Really expensive. Yeah. 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 Get a coupon. It's so much to get hours. What just, you get? Yeah, they just make it. They're so good. So you like to go there. Oh, yeah. Go there. Yeah. So, how many people in here, how many people have gone to Red Lobster? Hold up your hand. Have you? Alright, so three. Would you recommend it? No. People? I recommend it. Really? Why would you recommend it? It was really good. I like the service there. The food was really good to me. So. Okay. Okay. Why wouldn't you go? Or why wouldn't you tell her? It's a so small quantity for like you spend like fifty, if not plus one hundred dollars on, on on a small entree. So and you get your own thing. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Yeah, I think seafood place you can usually get cheaper. I have a bad experience. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, My waiter cried. <laughs> 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 like, it was like ready, ready really. Yeah, so over. Like, All right, let's, let's take an experience at <laughs> a restaurant. What do you factor into deciding like whether to recommend it to someone else? How fast the food comes. What? How fast the food comes. How fast the food comes? Oh, service. Yeah. So don't know how well the service is. Yeah. It's not even really the service, it's the kitchen. What? Wait, wait, wait. So, like, uh, what if the service is terrible, but the food is, like, bomb? It's just, like, the best food you've ever had. It has to be, like, straight up, like... Like that one burger place that had the burgers, like, $30 or something. Yeah, yeah. And they're bomb as hell. I have no idea, but they don't have an exercise. I'm in California. Alright. No, not fine. Alright, let's refocus. So we got what name is that? Uh, fast food. Oh, I mean, like, not fast food, but the service of the food. And hot. Because I don't like cold food. Let's be cold. Yeah. <laughs> what else? Hospitality. What? Big words. Hospitality. Dude, hospitality? <laughs> Good. It has to be clean. Clean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And not sticky. And not what? Not sticky. Not sticky, okay. Yeah, like so it's more specific. It's more specific. specific. <laughs> more specific. <laughs> <laughs> what else? Anything? I don't know. Just like how, if it's fun. What? So what makes yeah. something fun? Good music. I, yeah, like music or entertainment. Okay. Upbeat. Good uh, atmosphere. A good atmosphere. Yeah. yeah. Alright, atmosphere, yeah. I like that. The lighting's not yeah, too yeah. bright. The music's not too loud. You know, lighting. Not too bright. Or not too dark. Because I've been in a restaurant it's like so dark. Yeah. <laughs> what up? The crowd. Like if you're into a restaurant with you know a bunch of elderly people, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's not cast any of this. Uh, let's not discriminate. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's not discriminate. Yeah. But, Old people go that way. <laughs> what is something you've experienced in a restaurant like that that has made it not enjoyable? Um, I don't know. Like, I guess it's just like I prefer to be in a place where it's like. like what do they It's do? like a mix of every, of like different age groups. I just. Okay. You don't want those horny teenagers talking about their, you know, sex life next year. I've had that Maybe. experience oh, many yeah. times. Yeah. That yeah. experience yeah. was yeah. awkward as hell. Like, come on, it's like, like I had a costume or something. Like, Even you know, in school, weird. it's like so annoying. I'm like, really? We're in school. But you're in college. That's a little yeah. different. But I mean, in a restaurant. All right, all right, all right. Let's move on. So I go out and like these little things. Yeah, so what else? So the crowd, that's the valid point. Anything else? Uh, you guys think of? Seating arrangement. Like if you're gonna like table or table. Yes. 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 Oh my god. And the prices are small. Cool. The prices. Oh yeah, prices. Big one. Yeah. It's a big one, right? This is always the number one thing to go to the restaurant. I like booths. Like yeah, yeah. I don't like tables. Yeah. Yeah. Tables, you feel more like the other ones. Yeah. You yeah. Can. I mean, you have a preference with that. What else? Yeah. Okay. Anything we forgot here? No. I feel like we're missing the main thing. Yeah, yeah, the taste of the food. Well, yeah, what? the taste, but that would be like how it's. Well, yeah, I mean, this is sort of about a restaurant. just on the restaurant itself. Or like how. Because, the like, what if I say, okay, taste? What if I use the word taste? That's like everyone has. What's a good taste? Tell me the, the good taste of food. Salty. Okay, does everyone agree? No. no. Okay. Well, that's why you say unami, which is like so good taste. You know? But what, that's, this is what I'm saying, like what does good tasting food mean? Well, that's up that's to your senses. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Uh, if your senses tell, tell you that it's good, you'll know it's good. Especially if you're pregnant one time and then you're not pregnant when you come back, you might think that's sure, totally disgusting. You got disgusting. some things you guys consider, right? Um, True. That's the thing. It's like, again, uh, some of us here are not going to ever get pregnant. So we don't know what that means. So how are you going to define it? So like, if I say, okay, well, it tastes good. Good restaurants have good tasting food. 
plug. How are you going to define that? Your senses. Well, it was savory flavoring, like something that made my mouth. Okay, but every, everyone agrees that it should be savory, right? Yeah. 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 I think you describe it's it. Like, you have to just, yeah. Like you describe it and then if you really like, like, if somebody likes spicy, you say, oh, this was spicy, then somebody that likes spicy will like it. Yeah, but just saying it was spicy doesn't really cut it. So let's go with spicy. Again, so uh, it's spicy. Spicy where it numbs your tongue, but not Yeah, like, like you describe the stomach, you know. Good. Yeah. Um, I mean, how many people in here like spicy food? Me. How many people don't like spicy food at all? <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. If you guys recommend, let's say, a Mexican restaurant that serves really spicy tacos, that's me. Mary and Cameron aren't going to really get connected to that. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has their own taste. Everyone has their own preferences, right? Do you think cause it, it's because we all grow up in like different families? I think that's one reason, yeah. Because I, like, if I eat something that's not spicy, I get really mad. <laughs> oh, you carry like hot sauce? Yeah, I carry like jalapeno peppers on my purse sometimes when I go out. <laughs> <laughs> I carry the uh, Louisiana hot sauce on my purse in high school. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like, uh, 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 one thing is that um, a good, a good like restaurant has to be uh, in a good place because there are some really good uh, 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 places to eat, but they're like in the middle of nowhere. How many people would agree with that, though? Like, I, I mean, in Tennessee, yeah. it's like my I was just a place, place where, like, you, like, you would nothing. never be able to find this just normally. And then but you I think some people house sort of value that. <laughs> some people enjoy that. That's what I'm saying. You might not like that, but some people might find that enjoyable. I, like, if I'm traveling, I enjoy going to the places that aren't always packed, that aren't always packed, that are always packed, that are always that are really good. Like, I stopped in uh, out of the mall on the way to uh, Florida, and I had, like, one of the best greatest places I've ever been. And out of the mall next to like a Toys R Us or something. So some people sort of value that. Location is definitely important though. <coughs> right? Because like let's say you go to a place downtown at you know 1 30 at night as opposed to going to it at like nine o'clock so time as well. Yeah that's but true. location too like if you're next to a bunch of clubs and it gets out and there's all these drunk people around you know that's gonna affect the crowd that's gonna affect the uh, you know, maybe clean, yeah. like, no. just what people are doing. No, the way the the entertainment, or the atmosphere, right? Good word. We gotta, um, wait, we gotta add another one. What? With proper etiquette. What? Proper etiquette. Yeah, like the way like people talk. Not like, hey, what do you want? You know, like, wait, wait, isn't that for your target? Yeah. Yeah, but how many people have been to a place like uh, Applebee's is wrong. No, like uh, Dip Slash Resort downtown. Has anyone been there? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So where they write, yeah, yeah, they're really mean to you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that, that's I, I went to. Um, that's uh, what they uh, I went to this place uh, that's uh, in downtown Chicago, where like all the drunk people go, and it's where this big mean black lady just yells at you, and you <laughs> get your stuff and leave. And, that's uh, what I'm saying. Is some, really some people really enjoy. Good. Good. That stuff. Or uh, what was so that place at? At the Bevins, right? Yeah. Same idea. They closed it. Um, it's not open anymore? Mm-mm. All right, good. Let's move on for a second. So, what are we establishing? What are these What are these things? What are these different things? Holism. What? <laughs> it's holism, technically. What? Holism. Uh, it means they're taking every part of you and putting it together to make like a perfect. It's like, um, it's understanding everything about you, like from physical to emotion to mental. It's like, it's... Um, all right, so what are these parts, social. sort of, it's what are they all doing? Review. Criticism. What? It's like all in review. Part yeah, to criticism. All right. <laughs> so these are called criteria. These are important words. Friends opening the restaurant. These are all the criteria that makes a good restaurant, right? All these things. Now, in relation to your essay, criteria is hugely important because all of this stuff can lead to different paragraphs. Paragraph one, paragraph two, paragraph three. So you're gonna find 
Here's the challenge with this though. Since we're only doing 500 words, the challenge is to pick the ones that you think are most important. So we have 10 things on here. What are the most important out of these? Service. Service, please. Yeah, so those kind of go together, right? So let's put that as one. Let's pick two more. What are the two more most important ones? Fun. Entertainment. Prices. Okay. All right, wait, wait, wait. I'm hearing a lot of things. How many people think prices are most important? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, so that's a fair amount. What about atmosphere? Oh, what? Atmosphere? Oh. Yeah. No? You, can eat in the, you can eat in by, um, on a hill, you can eat by a dumpster. Kind of. No one cares about that? We'll go to the restaurant. All right. Maybe probably all done something like that. So. All right, what about cleanliness? Maybe. Cleanliness? But that would be people. hospitality. You guys have low standards. Um, <laughs> oh my God! Yeah. Oh, Only four people said it had to be clean. What she paid? Well, I didn't hear you. But that cleanliness is like the most important thing. I work at fast food restaurants. I see stuff that I, I don't, yeah. don't want to talk, talk about. So let me ask you again, like cleanliness. Yeah. Is that, is it, like, all right. So who would choose? Is the crowd more important than a No, I don't really care about the people. I'm just trying to eat. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they're really loud. I don't care. What? <laughs> yeah, because that's up to the servers to keep that clean. It's their yeah. job. No, not necessarily. Not really. I, I like, like people who don't go into I mean, that's the it's thing. Like, is like, it's the job of everyone. Like, yeah. if you have a really unclean kitchen, that's not the server's fault, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe the chef's fault. Not be the chef's fault, it's actually it's the, the person that runs it. Like, right? um, but you can see there's things that certainly stick out, right? These sort of things are more important than, let's say, location or time or even seating arrangement. Now, you can mention seating arrangement when you're talking about this other stuff, um, but it's not a huge concept. It's not a huge criteria for what makes a good restaurant. Um, so the biggest challenge you guys are going to have writing this essay is sort of limiting your criteria. So if I was to do it personally, here's what I would think. I think atmosphere, prices, and service are the most important. So that might be my three. Um, but if I talk to Savita, for example, what are your top three out of those? Just give me the three that you think are most important. Price. Right. Right? Yeah. And what? Hospitality, so if they're like nice people. Um, good. See, it's going to vary person to person. Um, so the best thing you can do is sort of come up with a bunch of different ways and narrow it down. That's the easiest way. Um, there's one other thing we should talk about before I give you a writing activity. One other element besides criteria that you need to learn. And something we've talked about before. So you guys will probably reach it pretty easily. All right. So what are the uh, top five albums, music albums that I ever made? The Beatles. Top five. What? A Beatles one. I don't know what the name is called, but they're like walking across the path. Abbey Road. There we go. Michael Jackson has to be there somewhere. What album? Give me one. 
Yeah, it's, it's from like the Google He's like, I don't know what I think. I think so. Can I Google this? But I think some people this? would disagree on that, right? I don't know. So we have to be specific here, right? So let's just say, take well, these yeah, five. Yeah, I mean, like, how many people have even heard of, heard of more than one of these? Uh, uh, I don't know. So what you have to do is you have to consider, if this is what I'm arguing, that these are the top three best albums, let's say. Say these are the top three. And I'm putting it up against some other person's list. I have to consider how am I going to defend this? What am I going to say about these albums that make it the top to the That's best hard. album? What, what they talk about. Yeah. What? What they talk about. I bet you they all talk sure. about sex some way. <laughs> <laughs> and drugs. You think so? Weed. Probably, yeah, weeds probably in there somewhere. Why do you think that? Because every, mostly, no, but mostly, because like 80% of rap songs are about either having sex, drugs, um, doing something horrible, seeing a crime. Like, ha have you heard how of a rap bad. song? Yeah, basically, that is clean nowadays, except like a few people. But what are you basing that on? Any music I've album? ever heard in rap. Yeah, how much rap do you listen to? A lot. I used to. I just don't know the albums, because I don't listen to albums, I listen to just the songs. I wouldn't buy a whole album because I probably want like all the songs on there. Uh, they all talk about weed, yeah. sex and thoughts and um, Like the, the Cause I Got High song. That's a hilarious song. But do you really want to be singing that in the middle That's one song, right? No, okay, that, but I'm basing that one song off another song, which more of a like. All the teenagers go crazy. They think they're the but it depends on what kind of rap you're listening to. Well, well, well any rap that's on the like, radio right now, they have to clean it up, or they're calling someone. And here's the thing: is I can now, all right, I can now switch it, right? Top five. Oh, uh, can we do arrows? No, no, no. Just listen. Awful. Gangster rap, Alex. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Top five. Why don't you all? Why don't you do old rap? What? Good I old rap. Yeah, cool. Like 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 I'm seeing magic. You see what I'm saying? Is you need to be specific on what, what genres that you're playing with. You need to be specific on what you're talking about. Right? So here's my suggestion. Let's say, for example, you're doing horror movies. You need to come up with a, those specific criteria that make horror movies good in your eyes, and then you're going to go see a horror movie and compare it to your criteria. So criteria is something that should be established beforehand, right? We all know in our own ways what makes a good restaurant, right? We just came up with like 10 different ways, but our specific ways are going to be different. It's the same with this. I might say these are my top three uh, sort of independent rap albums of the last 20 years, right? That's a lot more specific than saying these are my top five rap albums. Um, so I want you to really consider these criteria. Really think about what you're judging and how you can judge it. Um, so does anyone want a new category? Yeah. So what makes a good blank? Someone give me a good movie. Okay. What? A scary movie. Okay, so let's do our, well, let's do, here's the thing, you what's the difference between like a scary movie and a horror movie? I've seen plenty of movies that are scary that are not horror. Well, it depends on what scares you, too. Oh my god, can I tell you a story? No. <laughs> give, give it a second. No, a second. I'm going to lose my here. thought. Whatever. Okay. Let's, let's start here. So, what makes a good horror film? Uh, the villain. Alright, the villain. What else? You can watch a movie. What? You can see yourself being that good. Good, so you can kind of like put, put yourself, yourself put yourself in the movie a little bit. But wait, I would put that as called like a suspension of suspension of disbelief. So good movies, in my opinion, tend to like place you in the shoes of the person, right? You can imagine it. What else? Not something you've seen already. Like what? how many times does a villain, or I guess villain, pop out of a closet when you get like... So avoid cliches? Yeah. Yeah, that is so yeah. cliche. I mean, we all know cliches, right? Yeah. Okay. Don't go there. As it's like, we there. know you're in the closet, why are you going to open a closet? Yeah, like, 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 like the, the dumb <laughs> jock 
head, runs head on yeah. and tries to yeah. bite the villain and dies. And the girl's running around with her dog and yeah. Or they run up the stairs to set up out the house. Like, come yeah. on. Right? I mean, how many times do you look at a horror movie? Like, like why the door's open. I only watch two horror movies in my life. That's it. That's yeah. So what is your experience with it? What do you think they... I don't like them. I just... I just... Because the, the first time that I went to go see a, movie, a horror movie in the movie theater, I went with, like, five people because if I sit there by myself, I'm going to cry. Because yeah. it happens to be, like... So why, why does it scare you? Because I'm just I don't what know what to expect. Like I know like like when they're saying like if all of a sudden it goes silent, I'll like automatically know something bad's gonna happen. So I took a blanket to the movie theater and I like, literally like covered my face. Yeah, so music, right? Music is hugely important in order. Yeah. Uh, okay. yeah. Uh, what else? Safe on a true story. Effects, visual effects. Yeah. Like if you can't literally see the guy squirting blood on someone in the corner, then I've seen I'm that in a movie before. Yeah. And some people like, if I put this up, let's say like gore, I mean, some people are going to want that. So I'm not that sad. person, so this is off my list. I mean, it depends what movie though. <laughs> She's like, like I'm on the You can't compare like the Cannibal Holocaust to like, I don't know, to like the Human Side of Beat 1. Oh, okay, that was really oh, that's gross. That's yeah, like right? Special. Like some people, but right. some people, did anyone like that movie? What? No. Okay. I hope not. So what makes that a bad horror movie? Film? They were eating their butts. That's the whole thing. <laughs> it was gross. It was, it was gross. It was gross. They sewed his face onto a butt. Onto a butt. Face butt. Really gross. I had 12 of them, I think it was. But some people would say, like, they want to see it. What? He would um, say he what to not watch it. It's disgusting. What? Mar uh, anyone else? Mar yeah, All right, you got some <laughs> So the horror movie, what do you do you like horror movies? No, I need to. They have to so what are you paid about that? Like, I guess mainly the music and like the plot and like the villain. Like, That's how it gets killed. So what do you mean? Like you don't like it because you're afraid of it? Yeah. Okay. So again, like if you just take villain, let's take this one thing. Realistic. Some people might want a villain that's like really realistic. Some people might want a really like kind of sci-fi fiction villain person, right? Some people might want uh, a really corny villain, right? Like it. Here's the thing. Some people will say the best horror films aren't corny, right? I mean, think of like corny horror movies. There's some really good ones out there. Or maybe you want your horror movie to be funny. Like, that's the thing, is horror movies always think horror movies are funny. There's a ton of horror movies that are funny. Yeah, Jen. Can I tell you, please, my story, please? I thought that, okay. Please let me tell you. Okay, Real quick, so the movie that I went to see at the movie theater that I was like terrified was Annabelle. And it was I stupid because, because there was like some stupid parts. Like yeah. literally I was like, what the hell? Like, yeah. And then there was some scary, stupid. like there's some scary parts. What made it stupid though? It's because like, it's obvious. like. The lady that had the baby, like, literally went up the stairs, and it was dark. I'm like, come on, it's dark, and then the stupid exit signs on. I'm like, what are you doing? Like, but I only felt bad because of the kid, though, because the baby didn't do anything. Like, supposedly, like, if you're if you're religious, like, the evil can't get to a kid because he's like, he's like, he's yeah. pure, yeah. But the but the doll was trying to attack, like. Baby that's, why you the That's why I got scared. Like, but now I'm terrified of dolls, and I, I hate them. And I, I hate dolls on my way. All right, so let's we'll see what we have But it's based on here. a true story. Yeah, at least. Now let's say we're all going to see a new horror movie. Like what? We're all going to have different things that we enjoy, right? So yeah. when I'm watching a horror film, I might want like a real, like a sci-fi sort of villain, but I want it to be funny. I don't want it to be very gory, and I want to sort of. Let's just, just all watch Finding the Word. Let's not talk about that. That was so cute. Well, we're gonna watch. We're gonna watch some short films in class, and you guys are gonna do Finding the Word. Finding the Word. The best way for this essay to go through. Is I made a scary movie in high school. Go watch that. It's so hilarious. We did it for a project. It was like more of a parody. I just thought about that one thing that can make a movie. Is like the possibility that it could actually happen to you. Yeah, so like uh, realistic, oh, not in terms of villain, but just realistic, right? Um, I'm the same way. Like, I usually like horror movies like are more realistic. 
But I like movies that are funny. Hey, you know what other movie I think is gross? Creepers Creepers. Yeah, I think it's like the third one or the second one. I don't know which one it is. He like what? peels people's he skin peels, off. He's, puts it on he off. sucks your head out. Oh, like, and he like goes like, he but goes, see, that's the thing is like, I, I might like, find I that really corny. Like, Why? No, really like if you well, look at no, it, you look at it. He literally, it's, it's like a scarecrow, and he like but literally he, he attacks before. like this whole bus of like. I couldn't even colors. hear that song for like three weeks. That's yeah, so it's so scary. Like I thought it's not scary to you guys. It's a fucking scary. It might not be scary to me. Um, if I had to list like my top five scary movies. There would not be a lot of horror movies. What are they? What are yeah, they? Yeah, what are they? Cause I, I mean, I would consider movies like, um... Please don't say Chucky, because Chucky's... No, I'm thinking like Chucky's movies funny. that are not horror hey. films. Oh. What, oh. Like, are you like the, the one like about the UFO that's based on what? a true story? Uh, movies like Serbian <laughs> film? Like that? E.T. E.T. Oh, no. Yeah, that's E.T. E.T. A Serbian film, the movie called Serbian film. Yeah. But I might find like an action film or a scary or something. What's a scary movie to you? Like, like I guess I would put like documentaries, like so, like uh, yeah. an inconvenient truth is pretty dead, like scary. I think, oh, I saw that. Anything that's based on a true story and it happens to be like something that might go around. Like there was one about an alien in Illinois, and I could not like I had to lock all my windows and like everything because yeah. I'm so paranoid. But you come in. What yeah. I want to yeah. yeah. guys, what I want to emphasize here is you come in with these biases and these things that. Like, on my list, it might be like, I'm not going to really watch a movie that has, like, a scary doll in it, because I don't like scary dolls, right? Like, everyone has their own fear, right? <laughs> um, everyone has their own fears, their own spider. idea. Yeah, so, like, coffee. are you going to watch a spider film if you're uh, arachnophobic, right? Mm -hmm. Probably not. Um, so, what I'm saying is your criteria is going to be different, but as long as you set up your criteria, as long as you say, this is what I'm coming in, and doing is like I don't want yeah, these, yeah, yeah. Or I want these things, or don't want these things. Then no one can really disagree with your opinion. This idea is like you're making a judgment based on your opinion. So the smarter that you make yourself appear by putting these things out there, the better it is that you're going to convince people, right? So, I mean, in real life, this happens all the time. Like, how many people like read a review of a movie before going to see it? Oh, oh yeah, I don't do that. Right. So what, do you, what draws you to those reviews? Five stars. Yeah. <laughs> so you look for the movies that are good. Then do you read whatever they said five yeah. stars? So what do, you, what do you usually read when it's a five star review? Uh, really good, very suspenseful, had me on the edge of But what makes something very good? This is the whole question. Is, well, meaning suspenseful, like they were so scared they were on the edge of their seat. Like, right yeah. There. But this whole thing is like trying to avoid words like this. Because this doesn't tell me anything. Good. I could have had a good day at school today, right? I could have also had a good meal. I could have had a good uh, sleep. All this stuff, right? It, it doesn't mean, this word doesn't mean much. It's good. When you're trying to convince, let's say, a friend to go and do something, you tend to use words not just like, well, it was really good. Your no, friends don't really believe you. What? You have to say, like, it's amazing. What does that tell me? Well, whatever it was, it was amazing. It so it made me smile for the rest of the day. But how are you convinced that it doesn't? Well, usually your best friend would know if you are smiling. Obviously, they're gonna smile too. Yeah, but the word no. I I mean I don't. I have friends tell me all the time like, oh, you gotta go see this movie. I don't see, just say like, okay, I'm gonna waste fifteen dollars. <laughs> that you're not telling me anything about. That's the well. That's why you don't get your things on with friends like. For example, my ex and me, we have totally different criteria on like movies, basically everything. So that's what I'm saying is, would you have said like, uh, he said, oh, well this is good, we should go see it. Wouldn't you have questioned him more about that? Because what his term of like good means something different than yours? No, but then you would argue, so yeah. Okay. <laughs> Regardless of that, instance, you all have friends like this. You all have uh, friends that you all trust and don't trust based on what they want like and don't like. What? Yeah. We all have different tastes. Exactly. Like, it's like, me and, Anna, find it's like that me and Anna. Like me and She she's more like a like rock girl. Like she's like that. And I'm just like. <laughs> yeah. So here's the thing. <laughs> Would you trust her on like rock album recommendations? 
Yeah, because she's right, gonna tell us. her on country album recommendations. No, I already trust it. Probably not. So like, you need to establish yourself, and this is what I'm saying. You need to establish yourself in some way. Like we've all been to restaurants, we've all done these sort of things. Like pick something that you feel like. And we're going back to our last uh, essay. Pick something that you feel like you're somewhat of an expert. In. Or the other option is pick something you know nothing about. So like, go try sushi if you've never tried it. But think about, if you're writing your essay like that, you have to think about what are your expectations, right? So Jenny, your expectations were that it's gonna be slimy and gross and fishy and you don't wanna do it, right? It's not that, it's just that, like I saw it and I'm just like, what So it looks do? bad, it looks gross, right? And all I mean, stuff. it didn't look gross, it looked interesting, but then when I like started, cause I'm a touchy person, I have to touch my so food before I eat it. it. You see what I'm saying? Now? It's like you need yeah. to set up your expectations. I really I don't, don't like, like, like for example, let's say I really don't like horror films, but I don't go see one and see what I think. And then the the interesting thing is when your expectations are different than what happens, right? So for example, I've never been to like a country concert or something. I could go to a country concert and as long as I keep an open mind, I can judge it afterwards, like, oh, it was better than I thought. You know how many times in life I've gone through and I'm like, don't want to do something, don't want to do something, and then all of a sudden, I'm like, oh, it's way better than I thought. I was just scared for some reason. Or I, just yeah. didn't wanna, <laughs> I thought all country albums were terrible, right? Um, so your expectations are important before you try something new. So those are sort of the basic ways you're going to go about doing it. Either you're going to do something that you know a lot about, so you know a lot about horror movies, go see a different horror movie and talk about it what you thought based on uh, your different criteria. The other thing is to have these expectations. And then, so yeah, you go to a country concert, what are your expectations? Well, I think it's gonna be stupid. All I'm gonna do is talk about trucks and drinking beer, and the people are gonna be talk trash in there, right? Right, that's my expectation. <laughs> now if I go, what if I, you know, a lot of people there, really interesting people, everyone's very calm, no one's really rowdy, um, the music was better than I thought, right? What are, what are your expectations and how are they defined, right? Um, or how, are, how, how is the actual experience different? Um, so those are a couple ways you can take this essay. Um, so for the rest of class today, we're gonna work on some writing activities um, to kind of get you thinking about these different categories, different things. Um, so why don't you guys go back to your uh, computers and let's start writing some stuff. So I'm going to try to give you guys some different options because like, for example, we're not going to have time to uh, necessarily watch a whole film and then review it. But I'm going to let you guys watch some short films, we're going to listen to some music maybe, maybe a podcast, something like that. Um, but beyond that, like, so let's say for your first writing activity, we're going to work on criteria a little bit. So I want you to tell me... What are some of the criteria that makes like perfect romantic art? So let's start there. So like your ideal person. Ideal person? Yeah, ideal person that you want to be involved with romantically. What who, what kind of qualities do they have? What do they like? If you're currently in a relationship, let's say, what are the good qualities of the partner that you have that you would like in a future relationship? What makes an ideal partner? Sensitive. Be specific. Sensitive is So sensitive, what do you mean by that? Give an example. Don't just give me like one word answers. Because again, your idea of sensitive might be different than someone else. So sensitive to someone might mean, yeah, they cry about it. Yeah. 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 so they cry about everything. Another way it might mean, well, they really understand me, right? Yeah. All right. So this is like, so, you have to write, like, what you're saying. And be specific, right? Yeah, you are. So like Kamal, you said, what, educational? What does that mean? Educated. Educated, what is that? Educated. How? Educated. Okay. 
Yes, what happens if you really don't have standards? You just kind of like go with it.